Hey everyone, standing out in my yard right now. I figured I'd uh, post a video just to show uh, what an, a seiche is. Um, so uh, to give you an idea, a seiche uh, is when, in our case, the wind pushes water to the opposite end of the lake. So we have really strong winds today and uh, really strong west winds and they're pushing the water of Lake Erie to uh, the eastern end of the lake. So the, when that happens, uh, the lake levels uh, on the western end where we're at, um, the, the western basin, uh, so sort to of speak, of Lake Erie, uh, the water levels drop quite a bit. So anyways, I want to show you what happens when uh, uh, when that happens. So uh, as you can see behind me, I'm uh, standing next to the lake in my backyard um, and the water levels See you're dropping quite a bit so i'm just gonna switch the camera around and so we have strong west winds today normally the water level is uh, nearly all the way to the edge of the concrete break wall that you can see here uh, normally you can't see any sand at all uh, being that lake erie lake levels have been so high for the last few years uh, so we're starting to get some uh, sleet or freezing rain here which is nasty too but um, normally all of this is underwater back up so you can see right now this is Kingsville Harbor uh, so right here is the Keeley Islander 2 ferry which runs uh, you know in, in the on season uh, out to Keeley Island which you can't really see right now because it's so rough um, kind of see a, a little bit of a lake freighter out there uh, it could be actually a, a saltwater freighter that's coming to uh, move goods through the Great Lakes. Anyways, uh, so a seish, like I said, a seish will, it, is caused by really strong winds uh, from one direction and, uh, and it flows the, the lake levels or the, the water uh, to the opposite end of the lake, which in our case is the east end. So, like I said, all of this would normally be underwater. Uh, normally, we'll, we would have an extra nearly a meter of water in this area so just to give you an idea how quickly the lake levels can drop. Anyways that may not have explained much but I figured I'd at least show you a lot of people have had questions uh, for me about what is a seiche and, and how does it affect you so anyways uh, thanks for thanks for watching the video and uh, uh, tell me in the comments below if you've uh, seen this uh, phenomena this seiche before and what lake or what body of water you're on and if you have any questions uh, you know, feel free to to ask in the comments below, and and don't forget to hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you.